What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today, well, I want to revisit my trauma slash first aid bag. And uh, I want to show you guys some of the things that I've added to it, but first and foremost, <clears throat> I want to talk about things like this. Right, these are little first aid kits. You can get them uh, a lot of different places, uh, Walmart, you know, Amazon, wherever, um, and, and they're they're great. But in reality, this is more of a boo boo kit, right? This is this is you know you fell down, you scraped your knee, um, you know. Here, let's put a band aid on it and some topical ointment. But what happens when something really quite different happens right now before we get into this I want to make something very clear I'm not I'm not trying to um, uh, scare people or say that you know oh my gosh if you don't have one of these uh, then you know you're crazy blah blah but what I do want to show is that in this case of an emergency right like for example we just had um, a snowstorm come through Michigan uh, where over 700,000 people in Detroit went without power for I think four or five days. Now that doesn't seem like you know like oh my gosh that's an emergency but yet it really is. Um, you've got elderly people, you've got children, you, well you've got people in general that are having issues, that are having to call 911 to get them to the hospital because they're, they're cold, they're hungry, they don't have any way of doing things and so the hospitals get backed up, the ambulances get backed up, the fire department gets backed up, the police departments get backed up. And to have the availability, and, and not only that, but, you know, a lot of stores weren't open because there was no power. Um, so, you know, it wasn't like you could just run up to the store and get anything that you might need um, for, you know, a headache or anything else that you might have. Um, so having these things consolidated into a pack um, to where you can either use it in your home or traveling or anything else is really quite it really is. It's not a bad idea. So I want to show you guys. Um, I've been working with gear bags and uh, Lightning um, uh, Lightning X products, and um, they had sent me this uh, trauma kit, and I added a ton of stuff to it. Um, so for those of you guys that saw the initial video, I'm not going to recap on everything, but I want to show you guys some of the things that I added to my trauma slash first aid kit, right? Do you want to be in a bad situation with this or do you want to be in a bad situation with this? This is where it's at. This is a duffel sized bag, you know, that has a handle, a shoulder strap, something you could easily grab, throw in your car. Now granted, it weighs a little bit because I've added some stuff to it and things like that. But the idea that this can travel with me and be around my family in case we have an emergency that needs to you know be addressed um and, and another thing on, while we're on that uh, addressing subject i want to make something super clear i am not a nurse i am not an emt i am not an anything but i at least have some tools here that even if they're above my pay grade if i needed them I could probably get them to function. Now, on the flip side of that coin, having this bag with me, let's say that we're traveling and I have this bag with me and we come across an accident, well, I may run into a nurse who's off duty or an EMT who's off duty or a fireman who's off duty, but he doesn't have this stuff with him. Well, I do. So, another great reason to have it. So, let me show you guys a couple of the things that we've added to this kit. Um, and it, it is pretty packed to the rim now. Um, I have added blood glucose um, uh, meters and uh, finger pokers. So this way, um, you know, if we come across somebody who's potentially um, hypoglycemic or hyperglycemic, uh, you know, you could actually test somebody's blood to see, like, hey, is this guy low sugar? Is he high sugar? What's going on? And being diabetic myself, this is also important for me to have considering that 
if in fact we're traveling and for some reason I lose track of what's going on and for some reason my G3 stops recording and you know giving me a, a readout consistently on my blood sugar I can still take my blood sugar um, I added scalpels I get it I'm not a surgeon but you know I added some um, sterilized disposable um, scalpels um, Narcan I grabbed two things in Narcan. It's actually most insurances will pay for you to get Narcan at your local um, uh, pharmacy. You don't need a prescription for it. You can simply just walk in and ask your, I got mine at Rite Aid. Um, I, I just walked in and said, hey, do I need a prescription to get Narcan? And they said, nope, your insurance might even cover it. We checked it, zero deductible. Here you go, here's two things in Narcan. Now, I'm not, I would never need this, I, at least as far as I know. <laughs> um, but just to have it, <clears throat> just to have it is quite, you know, cool. Um, it did come with the stethoscope. I'm going to upgrade the stethoscope. Um, just I, I want something a little bit nicer for me personally. Um, but um, some of the things that I added: calamine lotion. Right, you're out. You know, your kids get into poison ivy, poison sumac, or whatever, or you get into it. This is great stuff to have. Um, a couple of five hour energies, right? I mean, I, I get it, man. Like, why would you need that? I don't know. But I thought, hey, they don't take up a lot of space. Let's throw them in there. Um, eye protection. Um, um, a thing of wet wipes, right? This is a brand new pack. I just put it in here to make sure that they stay wet. Um, I grabbed some hydrogen peroxide. Um, we have this um, store by us. It's called Dollar Days. Um, and just about everything that I got was under a dollar fifty. So this was a dollar thirty nine for this big thing of hydrogen peroxide. So you never know when you just want to bleach your hair. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. I, I'm just kidding, man. Don't don't go out and do that. Um, I got another thing of medical tape. It was like fifty cents. I was like, you can never have enough medical tape. Um, these are burn dressings, you know. So we got a bunch of burn dressings. We've got some um, some hand sanitizer. Great idea. Just throw some hand sanitizer in there. Um, I grabbed a marker, um, just a regular marker marker, um, you know, for infections, right? You always see people that get bit by snakes and they mark it and then they keep marking it and putting times on it. And that might be important. I don't know, you know, but it's cool to have it anyway. Um, you know, I'd rather know than not know. Um, a blood pulse ox um, device, right? I got this thing on Amazon. It was like seven bucks. And I mean, it'll at least give you a basic um, pulse rate and blood, blood oxygen level. Um, I grabbed some Gold Bond, right? Um, some O'Keefe's hand cream. Um, we've got some... This is Soothe and Cool Cleanse Kiwi Mango Shampoo and Body Wash. I don't know. Whatever. Um, this was cool. Wound Wash. Um, you know, you can just spray it on the wound to keep it clean. Um, lidocaine um, for sore muscles. You know, once again, this is, this is a first aid slash trauma slash go bag slash whatever you want to call it so even if you know let's just say my family and i had to leave our house for a reason this sits close to our door say one one day i wake up and and heaven forbid but the house is on fire and you know and i'm like oh my god grab the kids i mean this isn't a bad idea just to grab it and throw it out the door as you're going um even if you had to go to like a hotel which i'm sure we'd end up in one uh some vaseline um more hand sanitizer, um, some um, 30 um, SPF um, sunscreen. Um, and then in here, um, I got aspirin, Tylenol, ibuprofen, um, headache medicine, nasal spray, um, first aid, antiseptic spray, and this one is burn spray. So basically I have uh, aspirin, Motrin, Tylenol, and Tylenol PM all in here, right? And they're, they're just dollar store stuff. You know, you only get like 12. 
or 24 in each one. Well, what I did was I went and bought multiples. They were like $1.50. I kid you not at this dollar days. So I bought like three of the town all PMs. So instead of being 24 in this bottle, now there's, you know, three times that much. So just, you know, super cool stuff. Just something, like I said, just something to, you know, put together in your um, bag to ensure that here i'll put this stuff away later um just to ensure that you know hey this is this is something that's kind of covered right and then uh, up here we got um pink um bismol tablets and i opened this up because i combined two of them but these are like pepto bismol right just uh in tablet form here um got some aura gel for toothaches right you're out camping and you take this bag with you you're at you know wherever and you take this bag with you and somebody you know breaks a tooth and you know you're like what the heck it's in the middle of the night or Joe it's maximum maximum relief so it's three times uh, the power of normal whatever um, mucinex uh, sore throat and cough drops like what a great idea um, some q-tips uh, multiple things of q-tips um flexible band-aids uh and then well what i did was i grabbed uh needles for insulin um because um i keep insulin here at my house and if we ever travel or have to go anywhere um we have a cooler that we take my insulin with us so having needles and um the stuff for blood sugar um as well as insulin uh, especially for me Right now, I would never administer insulin to somebody um, on the road. That's just no bueno. No. Um, you know, but those in there are for me more than anything else. If we ever had to evacuate the house, well, at least I've got some of that stuff that's prescribed to me uh, as a diabetic. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the things that I've added to the kit. Uh, I'm sure that there's some things that I'm missing that I've forgotten about. Um, but I just wanted to kind of, like I said, kind of go over, you know, some of the stuff that I added. And uh, just how important this bag is to me and my family uh, and our safety and our well-being. Um, it really does. Even my wife, who is not necessarily a... Um, an extremist like maybe I am when it comes to knowing what we need to have if we ever had to leave the house, right? You know, firearm, check. <laughs> you know, ammo, check. You know, bags to go, check. Food, yes. You know, and my wife just, you know, not, not so much. But even she made a comment and said, you know, it's cool that we have that bag. I, I feel better knowing that we have the stuff here that in case anything happened, uh, especially if we were traveling, that uh, we pretty much have everything right here that we need. Um, we have a blood pressure cuff in there. We have a small um, um, kit in here that is like a survival kit. It's got a little mini collapsible fishing pole. It's got a fire starter. It's got, you know, matches and stuff like that and flashlights and a knife and things like that. So, I mean, there's, there's extra stuff in here that's like, yeah, okay, it's a little overkill, but very cool bag to have nonetheless right we we even have like a thermometer right like we've got one of these little um ear thermometers right i mean these things are like six bucks uh especially like through amazon and stuff like that so you know what a what a great little kit just to throw together and know that you know everything's gonna be all right so anyway with that being said hopefully you guys um take a look at this stuff and you check out gearbags.com their lightning x products um and uh just see you know like hey man that's really not a bad idea to have this stuff um you know with me and especially like i said if you guys do a lot of road tripping or you're camping all the time you know it's even more important if you ask me to have a bag like this uh, as opposed to just having it in your house right in the case of an emergency i don't want to have to run through my house to figure out okay go to the medicine cabinet and grab all this okay go to the drawer in the bathroom to get the band-aids okay go over here because that's where we've got ace bandages and blah 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 and then try to throw them all into whatever garbage bag you can find or whatever um you know one bag it's already put together don't need to touch it and everything that's in this bag like medicine wise we already have in the house too so we don't come to this bag to take the medicine from it we take it like everybody else out of our medicine cabinet or anything else but 
um, knowing, like I said, that if, in fact, we ever needed this, the famous words, it's better to have it and never need it than it is to need it and never have had it. So with that being said, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns Michigan and Outdoors with Buck and Moose. I definitely appreciate you guys hanging out and checking out this video. If you guys have any questions or if you need any more information on the gear bag stuff, check them out, gearbags.com. Um, this is a great, great company to deal with. They're very knowledgeable, super nice people. Love calling down there and chatting with them. And uh, let them know that you heard about them through me. So till next time, I'm Moose. Be good to each other. God bless.